I'm not really high energy this morning, so you have to forgive me. But I am going to show you what I'm doing. I say a few years ago, it's probably been 15 years ago. I got an old Suzuki and I ratted it out, so I had a little rat box, it was pretty cool. Um, but in doing that, <clears throat> I had a buddy of mine that lost his dad. Old buddy Cole died. And Chris Cole was his son and a friend of mine. Still is. He caught me at the gas station there at Walmart. It was early. Around Easter time, about this time of year. He's kind of upset, lost his daddy. And he told me, he said, are you going home after this? I said, yeah, Chris, I'm going home. He said, you mind if I meet you there in about an hour or so? I got something I want to give you. I said, all right. So that's what he did. About an hour and a half went by and I was home and Chris came by to see me. And I wasn't really expecting what he brought me. His dad, for a living, there in his later part, incinerated people, you know, at the nursing home. And I guess when he'd do that, he might shift through those ashes and find the parts, kind of get out of it. And you ask him what kind of parts, I don't know, right? But what he had brought me is something that his dad had got, and it was a hip replacement joint. So if you've ever seen one, which I hadn't until then, this is a hip replacement joint. Now, I carried this thing around in my pocket for months and months, and I'd go out to eat and set it on the table and have them little waitresses pick it up, look at it, and they'd see if they could figure out what it was, and I wouldn't tell them until afterwards, and I'd tip them good and tell them that that was a hip replacement joint, and that was in somebody. It freaked some people out. Some people didn't think it was so cool me doing that, but you know, that's just me being on her. Had a lot of fun. So I thought, what can I do with this? It had this perfect position to me for a handle. So I thought I'll turn that into a clutch handle. So that's what I did on that old Suzuki. I took a piece of just square stock and drilled it and cut it out with a damn grinder. It took me forever. So that was up there on my old Suzuki, turned just like that. Perfect clutch handle. So I've had this for some time, and I've had those handlebars I twisted out of square stock too. I twisted it all up. It's been sitting around. Now, if you guys follow me, you know I've got Maxwell House, my chopper. And I think it's about time for me to put this on. So what I've got is the clutch handle off the chopper, Harley Davidson one, as you can see. I went down and got my old buddy. Harold Bundy to make me a block because I wasn't going to cut this one out of a grinder this time I'm getting too old thought, I got a little bit of money I can pay for somebody to do it so that's what he did he set that up and he's got that cut out for me and I'll take this and I'm going to weld that on to this hip replacement joint and I'll probably leave a little bit of this that I've already put on there to make it just kind of seam into this piece so that's what I'm doing today I thought I'd tell y'all the story because I wanted to share it. So off I go.